Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Howdy ho, guys, you know who it is. Yeah, I know. I've been gone for a bit. Please, save the comments, I recognize it. But guess who made a video? Now, he did make a very short one, and I was like, that's not enough. I need something good. And then he made a four minute video of uh, the intro cutscene to Yandere Simulator. And boy do you know what time it is. I'm going to shit so fucking hard on this. I'm gonna get fucking hemorrhoids. Something is wrong with me. Well, I, uh, Yandere Dev, I mean, I didn't think we would have this talk. Listen, buddy. It's okay. You can talk with me. I'm, uh, I'm glad you came forward and wanted to talk about it. So sit down, man. What's wrong? For as long as I can remember, I've always felt empty, incomplete. Like a part of me is missing. Up, lady, let me uh, stop you right there. First of all, that's not where the heart is. That is, allow me to show you, the lower intestine! If your heart is in your fucking intestine, then you got issues, lady. Second of all, what? What? Is this your big reveal? I, I murder people because I feel empty. Okay. You realize, that's like the excuse the guy from Hatred has. Well, I hate people and this earth sucks, let me go shoot up my school. This hollow feeling has dominated my life. I've never been able to feel anything else. I have multiple questions. So, one, why didn't you talk to your mother? I, I don't see why you couldn't. I talk to your parents about any problems you have. You realize your parents are there for a reason. They're to help you get through life and kind of give you a kickstart. You deciding to not do anything about it instead of seeking a counselor, seeking a therapist. You realize they exist for this reason. Oh my god, it's so shit. I, there had to be some better story behind this. I, I'll probably have to search for one. Because this is actual trash. My world has always been cold. Dark. Silent. Oh, boo-hoo, I want to die. What kind of fucking excuse is that? I kill people because I'm depressed. I kill people because I'm lonely. You're fucking stupid, get a life. Shove five chopsticks up your ass and twist them. My mother was exactly like me when she was a child. But when she met my father, everything changed for her. Ah, I see a problem. Like mother, like daughter. Except this time, I gotta question something. So, why is it that the mother got the boy naturally, but Yandere can't go do it the same way? Wouldn't she want to be like her mother and fix her problems the good old natural way? Get fucking laid, you goddammit Asian piece of shit. He brought warmth and color and life into her world. He made her... complete. She told me that, one day, I'd meet someone special, just like she did. Okay, I'm, uh... I'm majorly confused. So... The mother... Wait! Wait! Stop! Stop! This lady was feeling this feeling from when she was like fucking 12? Really? No fucking way! No, I'm calling BS. Hold on a second. Yandere, have you called it upon yourself? I'm bringing out the badass glasses. You brought this on yourself, bitch. Okay, actual critique. So, the problem with, uh, this story Children don't really have much of hormones or anything, or, like, 
you don't feel like all that depression shit until you're a lot older. So, this girl being what looks like an... Don't you dare fucking correct me. She is most definitely under the age of 12 in that picture. I swear to God, you don't feel those kind of emotions when you're that young. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you are. You can't feel those kind of emotions yet. You feel sadness if you get fucking name called or some shit. I don't care. You don't feel that. The problem is, this is very shitty storytelling. The fact that you're saying that you murdered a bunch of people because you're a selfish, demeaning asswipe. That's stupid. It doesn't make me like the character. Suck a dick. This is bad storytelling, mostly for the reason that it's just making an excuse that when I was young, I felt lonely and incomplete is fucking stupid. That doesn't drive you to become a murderous psychopath. And I know I'm going on a tangent about this, but come on. This is just bullshit. I, I don't know who the fuck supports this game, watches this, and says, yes, this is a good product. Your brain is fucking damaged. Someone who would cure me, fix me, save me. I don't know about you, but I, uh, I think he, the, uh, the character completely missed what the mother was trying to say. The mother was trying to say, find someone who's interested in you and you're interested in. If you're forcing a relationship, you're fucking stupid. That relationship will never work. Suck a big one. I've spent my entire life waiting for that day. Oh, you probably spend like three years, you fucking bitch. Dreaming of the moment when I'd meet the person who would complete me. It was the only thing for me to look forward to. It was my only reason to live. What? What? Your whole sole purpose in life for you is to find a romantic relationship. Not do well in school, not get a job, not anything else. Uh, uh, what are you fucking crazy? What? What? Are you just gonna be... Are you just gonna leech off the husband? What's going on in this relationship? I, I'm losing my mind over here. What are you talking about? And then... One day... I found him. No. No, you did not. I'm sorry, lady. I'm about to drop this bombshell on you. Um... No, because somebody bumps into you and in a poor animation reaches to help you up. That's called being a polite human fucking being. If I accidentally bumped into somebody, knocked them over, I'd be like, hey, you okay? Yeah, let me help you up. I wouldn't be like... So we, uh, we fucking now? When I met him, something changed inside of me. My world was filled with color and light. Also, can I just ask, why has this lady never gone on Tinder? I mean, if you're that desperate, Tinder would be like, a, you'd get this emotion like every 32 seconds or so. Like, come on. I use it. How hard could it be for you to use it? What if, okay, what if this is an actual story discussing Yandere Dev's feelings? And he's probably like stalking some underage girl right now. And he's like... I would so kill for you, Madison. Or some shit. I don't know. It, it just... I, I can't imagine that he just came up with this on his own. And if he did, he's a fucking idiot. Because this is actual garbage. It was like I had opened my eyes for the first time. That's kind of hard to imagine seeing as you're Asian. I felt warm. I felt complete. I 
felt alive. Bitch! You're about to not be a fucking live in a second here if you don't stop right now. He is my escape from the cold, gray, empty world I've been trapped in. He is the one I've been waiting for. The person I want to spend the rest of my life with. But... Someone... Is trying to take him from me. First of all, can we just get out of the way that... That is an awful way to live. You just meet one person who's nice to you and you're just like i must spend the rest of my life with them second how do you know that person's just not a friend of theirs how do you know they're just not like hey what's up uh so you uh you know that girl over there like i i, I definitely don't you, you know her she wants him but not in the same way that i want him I, I think I finally understand. Yonberries are female incels. And it totally makes sense now why Yonberry Dev would want to make a game about it. So let me start off with, that's a horrible lifestyle to think, Hey, you know, I just existed next to this person for 2.5 seconds. They're mine, and I will kill for them. But this is just shit. Now, while I understand you're playing the villain in this, I don't see any likable traits about the Yandere. I, I don't. I'm sorry. I just... I just don't. Maybe she looks good. I can't tell. She's a fucking pixel. See, when you make a video game character, you're supposed to make them likable. It's very funny. This character is extremely unlikable. I, I feel no motivation to say, wow, this person is doing something for a good cause. Or, well, that doesn't even have to be the case. I just have to think, wow, they're charming, or wow, this. No, instead I have, they have nice tits. That's all. There's no redeeming traits about this lady, and it's ruined by the fact that they're Yandere and whatnot. I know the game's about Yandere's. Don't shit on me. But I wish they made the character slightly likable. Like, take example, Postal Dude. He's technically the bad guy of the whole thing. You could go through the game without killing anybody, that's true. You could slaughter civilians on top of civilians. But instead... You actually have a likable character. This guy makes witty remarks as you cut people's faces off and all sorts of shit. Prior, well, mm, contrary to this, is the hatred person. It's an unlikable character with a cause that makes no sense and they don't really have witty remarks, they're just stolen from other video games. This feels like a botched attempt to make a bad guy game. Except the bad guy is completely unfucking likable. How do I You guys tell me, what do you like about her? I I like her hair. I like her ass. I like her tits. None of them are personality or character. It's just she looks good. There's no redeeming traits. I I could go on a tangent about it all day and I could act like Onision and be like her looks are all that matter. No, I, I don't give a flying fuck about looks for a good portion. But I care about the personality of the character I play in a video game. It's... T I like some good tits and ass, but this is just stupid. She could never appreciate him the way I do. She doesn't deserve him. He belongs to me. I have to stop her. Even if it means hurting her. Even if it means killing her. Okay. There is nothing I won't do for him. 
I won't let anyone come between us. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care who I have to hurt. I don't care whose blood I have to spill. I won't let anyone take him from me. Nothing else matters. No one else matters. He will be mine. He doesn't have a choice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much the end of it. I will tell you this now. The ending made me feel like they were trying to go for it vibes. I know that sounds weird, but they were trying to go, especially with that title, they were trying to be like, let's make this scary. Let's make this... What? It came out? The new It's coming out? That trailer looks badass. Let me try to make mine spooky too. No, it's... It's just gay and stupid. First of all, why did she slaughter a bunch of students in the hallway? This makes sense. I don't think half the students in the entire fucking school want anything to do with Senpai. In fact, I, I think they, they could rather not give a flying fuck. It, it's just one of those things. And also, why is it, instead of fixing game-breaking bugs in the game, he's making fucking intros like this? This isn't helpful. I'd like to let you know this, Yandere Dev, you're fucking stupid. And as well, it's just unnecessary. I, I know, oh, it's cool to show the death animations and whatnot, but it's just unnecessary. It's like those unnecessarily long anime intros. That's what this feels like. It feels like an intro that just drags on and on and on and you just want it to get to the fucking point but it's like but i have this to explain and you're just like just shut the fuck up and let me get to the broken ass game and you gotta agree with me i know every single time i make a video on this guy a bunch of weebs just rush to the chat and be like no yandere devs uh pretty cool i sucked his dick for five bucks it was fucking great Katsuka! Not making fun of anybody who likes anime or whatnot, but this guy's fucking stupid. Don't defend him. He makes shitty content, and his game is shittier. I, I'd i rather drink Bella Delphine's bath water than actually work on this game with him. I bet you working on this game with him is a fucking nightmare. Tiny Build pulled out from working with him. Because they kind of just saw, they're like, uh, this guy's fucking insane. Can we just, here, uh, let me just pull us out. Now this guy is an incel. There we go. It, and tiny build. This is tiny build, we're saying. These guys are pretty, uh, they're pretty flexible. And I'm saying, they've made a lot of games that I would kind of say are a little either janky or uh, you get what I mean this is tiny build who dropped him tiny build just let that sink in even the people who have made some very broken games were unwilling to work with this fat bastard fuck you box me I will do it I will just accept the challenge on Dairy Dev. Man, this was um, a lot longer than I thought it would be. Well, I guess that's uh, you guys' fill on content. I have been busy because it was the 4th of July and I was visiting relatives. Damn, it's cold in this room. I will say that I desperately missed you guys. I'm not going to get with you. Uh, I, I definitely love you guys. It's like, shit, I... I didn't feel the same when I was at without you, you know? Now I'm back, bitches! And it's time to wreck some fucking havoc on YouTube! And you know what that means? Shit talk! I'll be back with another video in a few days, hopefully. I don't know. Maybe if Yandere Dev posts another video, then I'll have more content. Either way, I'll see you guys later. And please,
commit die. <laughs>